Hey friends, today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Figma pen tool and how to use it like a pro. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with some basic shapes, okay? First, let's create a triangle. So select the pen tool from the top toolbar or hit P on your keyboard. Now with the pen tool selected, hold down the shift key and click. Move the cursor, click, click, and to close the path, go back to the starting point or node and you'd notice the red dot or signifier. Now click directly on that red dot. Press the escape key and hit V on your keyboard to deselect the pen tool. And there you guys, we have a perfect triangle, okay? Okay, next let's create a rectangle. So select the pen tool from the top toolbar or hit P on your keyboard. Hold down the shift key and click. Click, 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 go to the starting point or node and click to close the path. And there you guys, we have a perfect rectangle. So what about a circle? Super easy, you guys. So hit P, select the pen tool and we'll repeat the process we used to create the rectangle, okay? So hold down the shift key, click, 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 and click on the start point to close the path, okay? Now release the shift key. Notice the four points or nodes on the rectangle. The next thing we'll do is we're going to hold down the command key on Mac or control key on Windows and click on each of those four nodes. Make sure you're holding down the control key, you guys, while clicking on the four nodes, okay? Then press the escape key and hit V to deselect the pen tool. And just like that, you guys, we have a perfect circle. So cool, you guys. Okay, so now we know how to create basic shapes with a pen tool. Let's learn how to create curves with a pen tool. I'll show you the normal way and I'll also show you an easy shortcut, okay? Let's start with the normal way. So the basic difference between a straight path and a curved path is if I select the pen tool, hit P on my keyboard, click, 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 press the escape and V keys to deselect the pen tool. So I have straight paths, okay? But if I click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, hit escape and V to deselect the pen tool, then I get curves. So the difference is in dragging after clicking, okay? Let's do this again. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay, cool. You guys, there's even an easier way to go about creating curves. So let's start with straight paths, okay? Hit P on your keyboard to select the pen tool. Click, 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 click. Then hold down the control key or command key and click on each of these points or nodes to convert them to curves, okay? Make sure you're holding down the control or command key while clicking, okay? So holding the command key, I'll click on this node, click, click, and just like that, they are converted to curves, okay? Then press the escape and V keys to deselect the pen tool, and there you guys, we have even curves, and it's also so easier to make, right? Okay, cool. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to use the paint bucket. I'll start by creating a shape, and as always, hit P on your keyboard to select the pen tool, and you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and create some random shape, okay? You decide what you think the shape is. <laughs> okay, so click, 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 mm -hmm. and I will add some connecting nodes to this. Connect, 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 okay. You guys, then I'm going to go ahead and go to the top toolbar and select the paint bucket, or I'll just press B on my keyboard, okay? And you guys, when I hover over different sections on the shape, notice the highlight on them, okay? So to add fill colors to each section, I can just left click, go to fill on the right hand properties panel, 
and I'll select a color, okay? I'll click on the section, go to fill on the right hand side, add a fill color, and I'm just going to repeat this process for the other sections, okay? And there you have it, you guys. Amazing, right? And you let me know what you think this shape is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy you're here and I appreciate every one of you. I hope my videos are helpful to you. Please like, please subscribe, please turn on notifications so I can bring you amazing content every single week. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.